All right, so I've made some progress on this thing. Um, it's back inside, as you can see. The mistress was sitting here in the last video. It's outside. This was parked right in front of it, or behind it, actually. So pushed the mistress out of the way and rolled this inside. Uh, not much has changed. Pulled the intake up so I can finish the holes. Those holes right there, if I can judge my distances. Um, locating all my wiring pieces so I can lay everything out. Got the wide band wired in. Um, need to splice those two wires into power and ground. But the controller is right there. Goes down to the header. And I've already modified the collector, which I think I showed in the last video. Um, injector wiring is connected, but I need to route it with everything else. Wrap everything in loom, wrap everything in tape. Um, fresh ignition parts, which I showed in the last video, but they're actually installed on the distributor now, along with the new plug wires. Um, what I haven't shown you is the fuel system. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, this is a Amazon special stainless steel filter housing. I'm guessing it's an Aeromotive or Motion Raceworks clone. It's $32, I think it was. But this will come out of the fuel pump module, which I'll show you in a second, through this 6AN line to a 6AN fitting will screw right into the back of the TBI. The fittings for these, those those two fittings and the, the two fittings that go on the fuel pump unit are about 60 bucks for the set. So it was kind of painful, but having AN instead of that stupid nonsense you can't find anymore is a lot more convenient. Um, come over here. You can see I've got a bunch of tubing, two and a half, and that's a nitrous kit. Ignore that, that is not for this project. Um, the fuel pump module I showed off last time, but now it's got the Russell fittings on it to go to 6AN. So this will screw right into the fittings, those guys, onto here through the line, through the new filter, up to the TBI, and then back. Because if you're not familiar with the TBI units, they have their own regulator built in. And they only need about 15 PSI, maybe 20, um, to atomize the fuel correctly. So, two and a half inch tubing, the bracket for the oil filter. Pretty nice unit for 35 bucks, actually. It's all billet. Um, it's probably cast actually, but it looks like billet. Uh, and then we'll come over here. And if you remember, the exhaust was all rotted out on that, along with the headers. I showed you the headers already, but here's the exhaust I'm building to go with it. Two new two and a half inch glass packs. Those are thrush instead of whatever's on the truck. It's all two and a quarter. Custom X pipe that I welded up to the collectors. And there's the wideband bung. So this system should last the rest of the life of that truck along with the new headers being ceramic coated. Um, as well as sound much different, much healthier, and smoother. So yeah, that's pretty good progress so far. It's been too hot, too busy to record lately so and yeah the welding I kind of just threw together none of the rest of this is welded yet but I'm getting there um, I'm gonna make some more progress on this later tonight get with you then and keep moving on on these as you can see I figured out how to pull the tank on these trucks and these are actually not that rusted in place. I did spray them earlier, 
which may have helped, but, and I'm using a big ratchet, but they're just coming right off. So I'll see you when I get this tank dropped, and I'll show you what's going on. So, as you can see, I have the transmission jack underneath the tank already. And that's already loose. So in theory, this should come down just enough. Of course, it's stiff. Here's my X-pipe, mocking it up. In theory, the tank should come down fairly easy. Would you look at that? Uh, what's the hang up here? I think it's the pickup tube doesn't want to go through so let me take care of that okay well I got that pushed through but it wasn't the pickup tube so I need to dig a little further there's a lot of dust floating around in the air uh, should have this tank out in a couple minutes all right I figured it out here's the filler neck I should probably replace that gasket but on the mounting brackets, you have those studs. I'll probably address the frame while I'm in here. Um, there's one on both ends. And they sit in that big hole there. And that's what holds the tank up. So I'm going to pull the old fuel system out, slide the tank out, drop the new one in, and show you what I got going on with that pump unit sitting on the cart over there. I can't say I didn't see this coming. Um, that fuel pump module is too tall compared to the original one for this tank. So I'm gonna have to take some measurements and order a different pump module. There we go. As you can see, I'll flip it that way. Look at these big ants. Look at that guy. Kind of mean, too. But anyway, I can't really cut the difference out of that. I mean, I could if I cut it up here and welded it back together, but it's already had fuel in it. So, that's probably not the best choice. Uh, take some measurements, get another one on the way, because these are only 40 bucks and go from there. So, I'll catch up with this in a couple days. It just occurred to me that I can run the positive wire for the fuel pump still up to the relay board. So, let's do that before we go home. Um, I'll probably do the filter too, but I need to look and see where the lines come through. Um, just so that line is made and ready, despite the fuel pump issue.